Hey Nonny Nonny and Rodu Ray, and welcome to Game of Thrones Mod 4 uh, Mountain Blade Warband. Now, let's have a look at this. I'll show you how to install this, uh, maybe in the comments we'll do that. Um, certainly the link to the thing. So this is Westeros, as you can see, got the Iron Islands there. Um, but this is a really nice representation of the Game of Thrones world. So you've got the Vale. Uh, pretty much locked away. Then you've got Moat Calais in the north and Winterfell uh, and so on. So it's a really, really cool mod um, and absolutely loving this. Now it's really, and it's an old game, Mountain Blade is a really old game, but I still think it's rather good. So you join the action. Lord Pyrex of Hauge Slong. Um, I was just, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> basically, we're just rolling around. Now you'll notice I, I carry no banner. I am a yeoman of no one. So basically what I'm doing at the moment is uh, tooling up. So you can see I've got a pretty decent fit here. So <laughs> my modules are looking good. I've got obviously a good suit of armor. I've got a horse that has got some kind of armor plate welded onto it. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. But the whole game, obviously, if you've never used this before, the whole game is a massive you know, repertoire of different weapons, different action tactics. But it all generally centers around um, uh, mounted infantry, you know, you know arrows. The whole battle is happening like that now um you obviously then go around all the villages recruiting people and the different uh, uh ha, so here we go we have a we have a fight brewing gadzook bandits so these are riverland raiders and they're really well they're pain in the ass to be honest so let's have a bit of let's have at them so as you can see most of my army is actually on horseback and that's by design you can have a whole army of archers you can have a whole army of foot soldiers um, but versus the Riverland Raiders, who are also mostly cavalry, they're all cavalry. Um, you need to have, I think, uh, well, cavalry's king, to be honest. This is this comes back to my um, comment I made in previous videos that you know you need cavalry in in any game <laughs> because it's just they, you know that it's like the back in back in the day. Um, these were the you know the nukes of the battlefield. You know, no no uh, you know non-mounted army could ever defeat a mounted army generally. Um, so there we go. So, you know, this is uh, pretty much the mod. Now, I, again, I'm Riverland Raiders are just generally the raiders that, that kind of raid around King's Landing all the way up to River Run, you know, and even up to the I'm uh, to the uh, the twin uh, the twin gate. So, you know, you, you're kind of uh, always at the mercy of these Riverland Raiders at the start of the game. But if once you get kind of a good group of men, uh, you do start to really do some damage. And again, I'm just using different weapons here. I've got my, my pole arm. I actually do have a lance, but I prefer the pole arm. The lance is just a bit uncontrollable compared to the, the spear. The spear is just deadly uh, when you've got the hang of it. Um, I've also got a sword and I've got a mace as well. Now, the reason I use mace is because it crashes through blocks. So, <laughs> nice and, uh, and cool. Now, I'm showing you these kind of early battles because uh, this is all kind of an epic story arc. And let me explain. Um, at the currently when I started the game, I was not aligned to any of the big houses. So basically, I'm just really, you know, even though I'm losing people, I'm just building up a, a, an army, as you can see here. And yeah, you know, it, it is a true RPG style game. So as your army gets better, you get that you promote them. So foot soldiers turn into uh, infantry. Infantry turns into either you know really crack shot archers, or they can turn into mounted infantry and then eventually you get to the uh the zenith of that and you get knights and knights are basically brick shit houses as we would say in the uk now i'm a big fan of the lannisters so what i wanted to do was i i i, I rode all the way to lannisport and i met with um uh, tywin lannister so uh, there's obviously something not quite right with the textures or i've just interrupted a really really sort of uh, dodgy moment so <laughs> i uh, i i i give my loyalty to tywin and um i join house lannister now you don't have to do this you can continue to be a bandit you can be a rogue house you can even set up your own um house as well but for now um i wanted to show some support to the to the, the lannisters um, only really because they're getting owned. So uh, naturally, the first thing I did once I became a Lannister stooge was um, I attacked a load of peasants and killed them and uh, basically took them hostage. Which, if you've never read the Game of Thrones books, or if you, you know, if, if you have maybe, then you probably understand what I'm doing. Because to be honest, everybody dies <laughs> in terms of, you know, every pet, every village is... is destroyed you know the weak are just absolutely you know hunted down and abused by the uh, the strong so 
I think Game of Thrones maybe teaches us that you just have to be a bit of an ass, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, somebody will uh, come there. <laughs> so basically, just slaughtered these peasants, just sort of, you know, solidifying my my point. Now, here we go. Sarsfield was recently taken by the North, and I noticed that it's weakly defended, only 250 men. Um, so we besiege them. And really, this is this is again the beauty of the game. It's not all about kind of you know battlefield on. Uh, or rather cavalry on the battlefield you actually do also have to assault castles and i love this part of the game so here we go there's two and again maybe i should mention just quickly before this battle gets going i've used the battle size uh, mod as well so i've actually resized all the battles need a bit, a bit of a powerful pc to do it but i've got the maximum of a thousand infantry on the map at any one time at the moment and it's, as you can see it's running quite well and i don't have a particularly hot end computer but um, the game is old, but it still looks pretty decent, and I think it, it's got the it's got the graphics in the right place. Anyway, so depending on what type of castle it is, you either use ladders, you use siege towers, or you can actually assault the main gate as well. Um, but basically, what we're doing here is I'm just sneaking my. <laughs> I'm not really sneaking. I'm just kind of getting up the ladder, Ooh, taking damage, and then once I get to the top of the ladder, it's then really just about bludgeoning my way out. So think of 300. That bit in the 300 where they're all kind of at the uh they're all in that shield wall well here we go so i don't know why i'm using the sword that's probably a bad thing to do. so let's get the mace out and really this probably isn't going to end too well but again because my my infantry and myself are, are so well armored knights generally are so well armored um it does take a huge amount of punishment to kill us um but problem is we're not really killing them much either so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a kind of stalemate at this point as well so just smacking people on the head thunk 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 <laughs> thunk <laughs> thunk <laughs> I'm killing them with the odd one or two, um, but as you can see, look at that, a sea of men, uh, and it's even bad on the other side. Plus, while this is going on, the, the archers are picking off my men on the ladder as well, so I'm, I'm already kind of thinking, right, we may pull back, but I managed to get into the, uh, the fray a little bit more, managed to open up a bit of space with the iron mace. Um, but really just, yeah, just absolutely chopping, smashing. It's it's so frantic, you wouldn't believe it. And um, it, it's just so much fun. I mean, if you've never played this before, seriously, look at this. This is so much fun. Um, and I think every game, you know, you need that kind of range of games when you want to do something. Games amplify moves, I do believe that. I think if you kind of, you know, watch Lord of the Rings or something like that, playing a bit of this is always good fun. It's kind of that, you know, that, that feeling. And don't be afraid of mods. Mod modifications to games are just fantastic. Anyway, we pull back and then we hold. Now, weirdly enough, the defenders still think that they've got the numerical advantage. So as we're kind of besieging this castle, they actually just sally forth. And what that means is they just literally come out the gate screaming at us like loonies. Now, again, this is this is the beauty of this game. Look at this, this mass combat. And again, I think really all we're trying to do here is you can see they've got some pretty good knights. They've actually got their own knights there, but they've just lost like pretty much them. They're only you know, elite veteran players. Um, they've just lost because their knights rushed us. There's another one there. We'll get him killed in a minute. And then pretty much my knights will take them down. So this is where I think if you've got a really elite group of knights, um, you can take on, you know, two, three, four, maybe even five times your numbers. Um, you know, particularly, not necessarily in, in sieges, but I think, uh, you know, it's really tricky. So here we go, this is going relatively well. So I kind of now start to just, you know, go around the edge and I'm thinking, well, the problem we've got at the moment is their archers. So what I always like to do is get, uh, you know, get into the amongst, amongst the archers. Now, again, the, the game interface is very good. At the moment, I've just said to my guys to charge. If I wanted to, I could get infantry to do one thing, you know, range to do another and so on. You can actually set up orders properly but i just find that it's better just to let the melee happen <laughs> and as you can see you know it's it's kind of well, it's going our way i mean i'm not seeing too many of our people drop we've got a few people dying one person died one person got knocked unconscious but they're dying huge amount. and this is because generally most of them are levies and what i mean is that they're, they're only um their, their bulk of infantry is actually just conscription like that dude there he's just a conscripted Riverlands uh, villager, to be honest. So you know he's gonna, he's not going to last very long against an, an Iron Mace in the balls. 
<laughs> and this is this is I think again the, the wonder of the game is that you can you can go really into this. You can have multiple castles under your own name, and you can have you know uh, armies of thousands basically defending and, and holding them. Um, but the the fun part for me is the assaults. So when you actually attack great big armies on the field, um, it depends how brave you are with this battle size mod uh, resize the mod because. If uh, I've actually run a, a mod uh, a battle of around 2,000 people, and it was a bit choppy, but it worked really well. But it was just absolute carnage, just people, people everywhere, dropping everywhere. <laughs> it was the, probably the most enjoyable thing I've done for a long time. Um, but here we go. Look, this is it. We're thinning them out. They're dropping like flies, and all they've got here is village archers, which are no good. They're not good at all. There's a professional archer there. He's dead. I'm just going around twatting them with the uh, the iron mace. Boosh! Smack! Ooh, painful. Bloodshed. Look at all the blood I'm covering in. But anyway, there we go. So this is it. We win! So their Sally Forth pretty much lost them the castle. And that's where we'll end part one. Part two is them keeping the castle.